Hey guys, Wayne here from Tech Made Easy. Today I'm going to be doing a beginner walkthrough or how to use the Samsung Galaxy Tab A. This is going to be the 2018 edition and this is for beginners. So if this is your first tablet or you're not familiar with using an Android tablet, you're going to learn it all today right now. Let's jump in and get started. So the first thing is this tablet has three buttons. It has a power standby button, volume up and volume down. So to turn the tablet or the screen off, you're going to hit this button one time, screen is off, the tablet is still on. So if you want to wake the tablet up, go ahead and press that button again and the screen will come back on. If you want to turn the tablet off completely, you will have to hold down on the power button for about two seconds and then select power or restart. So those are the main three buttons. At the bottom, you will find the charging port. It is a micro USB charging port. And at the top, you will find, it's kind of hard to see it, but you'll find your um, uh, adapter here to plug in headphones. And we do have a camera on the back there. This is a Verizon uh, Tab A. So uh, all that means is that it has an option to get uh, mobile data if I buy a SIM card and connect service with them, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so on the main screen, or on the lock screen here, this is called the lock screen, um, you unlock the tablet by just dragging your finger across the screen. And if you want to set up a passcode uh, to secure the tablet, you do that in the settings. So we'll do a separate video and show you how to set up a passcode for the tablet. But if there's no passcode, when you turn the screen off and turn it back on, you just drag your finger across the screen and then it will wake up. Okay. So now that we're inside the tablet, first thing I want to show you is where do you find all of your applications? So um, again, just to compare a tablet to a computer, computers have um, applications or software and tablets have apps, which is just applications for short. So um, the apps are the different programs that are on the tablet. So you have like, for example, your camera, your gallery, which is where you find all your pictures that you take, the internet, which is gonna be the Chrome app, the store, Play Store here, where's where you download apps. So um, all the different applications you'll find some on the main screen, but the rest you'll find um, in the uh, app section. And to get there, all you have to do is just uh, make sure you're on this screen, which is considered the home screen, and you're just gonna swipe up. And that takes you to the app section, and you'll see every single app that is on your tablet. Now keep in mind, you will see uh, some folders. These are called folders right here, and they'll have more apps inside of them. So if I tap on this, guess what? There's five apps in this folder. So anything looks like this, this is also a folder, Google folder. So your Chrome is in there, Photos, Gmail, and you can create folders as well. And we'll show you that in a different video. So, all right. So that's the app section. Again, home screen, swipe up, and there it is. We have a separate video that'll show you how to get that little app drawer button. If you're used to tapping the app button to get there, we have a separate video that will show you how to do that that's coming up. All right, so one thing you'll notice, this tablet does not have a home button. Uh, all the buttons are on the screen here. So um, this square right at the bottom is your home button. So no matter what screen you're on, if you tap this, it will always take you back to the home screen. So swipe up, I'm in the app section. If I hit this button, I'm back home. If I decide to go into Samsung Notes, and I decide to write some notes or whatever, and when I'm finished, all I have to do, home button, square, right at the bottom, it takes me back home. So no matter what you're doing, this always gets you back to your home screen. Very important. Now to the right of that, we have what's called the back button. And this little arrow that points to the left, it always takes you back one step. Okay, so for example, if I were to go to the settings app and I were to then uh, tap on wallpaper, um, notice it did take me out of the settings and it took me to a different wallpaper uh, page here. If I wanna get back to the last page I was on, I'm just gonna hit the back button. It will take me back one step, which took me back to the settings page. And if I tap it again, it will take me out of the app. So all it does is just take you back one step. That's it, back button. So home button, back button. 
And this button to the left here is your recent apps button or running apps, recent or running apps. It can go by both. Um, what this does is it shows you all of the apps that are running on your screen here. So I can just pull down really slow and see these are all the different applications or apps that I've opened recently, okay? And if there's an, an app that you're finished using, for example, Gmail, I'm finished, go ahead and swipe and it'll close it out for you. You say, oh yeah, I was using this, but I don't need this anymore, swipe. And that's how you close out applications. Now, maybe you say, I don't want to use any of these apps. I'm finished with all of these. I just want to close them. You hit the close all button and that will close everything. So you should check this frequently because again, it serves two purposes or three. It shows you what apps are open. It gives you the chance to close individual apps. And it also gives you the, the option to jump between apps. So for example, if I'm in the settings, let's say I'm doing things in there, and then uh, I'm also in my files and maybe I'm searching for something on the tablet. If I hit the recent apps button, I can jump right to settings because it's the last app I used just by doing that. And recent apps, back to here. So it allows you to jump back and forth between your apps that are open and it saves you a little bit of time. So those are the three main buttons that are on the tablet. Now, because the buttons are on the screen and not uh, like physical hard buttons, sometimes you won't see them. So I just wanna show you what to do if you don't see the buttons, but how to get them to come up. So just to give you an example, I'm gonna open up YouTube. I'm gonna play a video because this is an example of when the buttons would be hidden. So, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to this video right here. I'm gonna put it in. I'll turn the volume down so it doesn't affect the video. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this button right here and it's gonna put the video in full screen. And right now it's actually showing you what to do. So in full screen, guess what? We don't see our buttons down at the bottom here, but that's okay. All we have to do is just swipe up and there's our home button. It's just that easy. Swipe up if you don't see them and then it'll show them temporarily for a few seconds and then they'll go away. Maybe you're finished with this video and you wanna go back to your home screen, swipe up, hit the home button and you're back, okay? Now, we're showing you this whole tutorial in what's called the landscape or the long position. If you turn the tablet this way, all these things apply. Now the buttons are gonna to move to the bottom. And the same thing if I was in a video, I would just be swiping up from here instead of the other way. And if I wanna to go to my app section, I just swipe up and there they are. So it all depends on how the tablet is rotated will determine where your home button is, okay? So we've gone over where our apps are. We've gone over our buttons at the bottom here. Now we have another section called the notification panel. And this is where uh, any important information will come through on the tablet. For example, if you set up your, your Gmail on the tablet and someone sends you an email, it's gonna show up in the notification panel, which is right at the top of the screen. You're just gonna swipe down and that's the notification panel. It has these little switches that turn off different things on the tablet. Let me clean this up so you can see it better. So right now I don't have any notifications, but I do have these little switches that again, control different things on the tablet. So for example, this is my Wi-Fi uh, icon right here. If I wanna connect to Wi-Fi at a friend's house, for example, all you do is swipe down and just hold the Wi-Fi button. And by doing that, it will take you right to the settings and the Wi-Fi section where now you can turn on your Wi-Fi if it's not on, just like that. And then you'll be able to select uh, a wireless network. So for example, if I wanted to connect to Omar, I would just tap on it and I would just type in the password and that's it. And then it would connect me to that network. So at the top of your screen, notification panel, these are just shortcuts to different settings on the tablet. So. Um, that's my Wi-Fi switch. When it's blue, it means my Wi-Fi is on. 
And if it's gray, that it means that Wi-Fi is turned off, okay? For sound, this is another important one. If you wanna put the tablet on vibrate, just tap it once. You'll see a little slash. It's gonna go over the symbol, and if you tap it again, it'll put the tablet in total silent mode where it won't vibrate or make any noise. Here we have Bluetooth. If I wanna to connect to a Bluetooth speaker, Bluetooth headphones, you just tap that button, light it up, and then it'll take you to that section where you can choose your Bluetooth and connect to it. Airplane mode, mobile data. This is another important one. This is your power saving or your, um, well, this serves two functions. This is your battery icon. Holding it will take you to your battery section and you can check to see how your battery life is. You can put the tablet in power save mode and you can also uh, see if you have any apps that are taking up a lot of power at one time. And then by pulling down, so you swipe down once and you can swipe again to get even more switches. So for example, now we have our location or GPS. Maybe you're trying to look up directions on Google Maps or you're trying to go on Yelp and look up a restaurant. By turning that on, it'll allow you to uh, get location-based um, information. And if you say, hey, I don't want my GPS on, you just turn, turn it off in this section here. Smart view is how you would connect it to the TV. If you wanted to mirror your screen of the TV, we'll have a separate video on that as well. And then we have a few more options, secure folder where you can hide things from people. Do not disturb, sync, and Dolby Atmos. And up here you have a shortcut to your settings right with this wheel right here at the top. So this again is just simply your notification panel. Any app that you download, um, most of the time they're gonna ask you, oh, do you wanna turn on notifications? And all it means is if important information comes through, it's gonna pop up on the tablet, it's gonna alert you, and you'll find it in this section right here. Okay, but right now, no new news. So those are our buttons, buttons, notification panel, where our apps are. Now, that essentially, those are all the basic things that you need to know to use this tablet. But I wanna go over three more things really quickly because if you're new to tablets, these may not be common sense to you and I wanna make sure that you can do these things. So the three things that most people will buy a tablet for are to go online and search the web, download apps or games, and third, check their email. So I wanna go over quickly how to do those three things, what apps you go to, to save you some time. So the first one is gonna be, how do I go online? So you are gonna go through an app called Chrome, okay? By tapping on Chrome, it will take you to the internet, and here you'll be able to go to any website just by tapping in the top section right here, and the keyboard is gonna come up. Let's say you wanna go to AOL, we we'll just type in AOL.com, hit go, and it will take you right to AOL's website, okay? And again, if you wanna to go to a different website, you can tap here again, the keyboard will show up again, type in your new website. And when you're finished, what are we gonna do? Pop quiz, we're gonna go home, back to our home page. Okay, so our next uh, little item here is how do I download apps or games? I wanna play a fun game or I wanna watch Netflix. How do I get that on my tablet? Well, to do that, you're gonna go to the Play Store, this little white icon with the little play button on it. This is where you're gonna find all the content that you would need. So games, so right here we have recommended games, new games, we have um, other applications that aren't games. So for example, you wanna download HBO Go or Now. That's in here as well. So again, you'll find games, movies and TV shows, books and music. These are the four categories of content that you'll find in the Play Store. So if I want to find games, I'll go right to the game section and then I would look up and see if I find a game I like. Let's say you want word search and you like this game right here. You can simply tap on it and hit install. Now this game is free and you know it's free because it doesn't ask you to pay anything. So even if I tap on Solitaire, for example, I know it's free because this button just says install. If that button said 99 cents, then you would know it's not free. And you'd have to tap on the button and then you'd have to put in your credit card and then it would bill you for that 
charge. So that's how you decipher between what is free and what's not free. Now, aside from that, maybe you say, I wanna play a specific game. I don't see it on the screen. How do I find specific things? So you can tap up here where it says Google Play. Just tap right there. It will bring up the keyboard for you. You can type it on the keyboard or you can hit the microphone and just say it. Sudoku. So it'll do a search for you after you say it and then it'll show you all the different applications it has for Sudoku. So I can tap here and you say, oh, I like this one. Let me look at it further. I can swipe up and I can see what the app looks like and I can get an idea. Oh, do I like how this looks or do I not? I can look at the reviews and see if people rate it highly and even read comments of what people have said about the app. Maybe you say, oh, that one's okay, but I don't like it. Hit our arrow up here and we can look for a different one. Oh, this one looks cool, Sudoku fun. I'm gonna tap on that. Look at the pictures. Oh, I like this one, it looks cleaner than all the others. Good rating, so I'm gonna tap install. And now it's installing on the tablet. So you're gonna give it a little bit of time. It depends on how fast your internet is. That'll determine how fast it downloads. Once it downloads, it will install. So it's actually telling you right here what it's doing. So since we found what we were looking for, I'm gonna go home. And how do I find this new game that I just downloaded? In the app section, I'm just gonna swipe up. And there's my new game, Sudoku Fun, and the other app we downloaded, Word Search. So this is where you find all your content. And the last thing I wanted to show you this is your back arrow. So just by tapping on movies and TV shows, it'll take you to that section. Books are in the book section, and obviously music is here. If you did want to find Netflix, again, it's as simple as tapping this white box at the top, hit the microphone, Netflix. And there it is. It'll do a search, you pull it up, we can tap on it, and hit install, and that's it. It's gonna download it right to the tablet. So that is how we download applications and games. Just a basic overview. Now some of you guys may have gotten an error when you were when you went to the, the Play app, the Play Store, um, that may have said you have to have a Google account. I want to address this really quickly. So if you got that error that said, oh, must sign into your Gmail before you go to this, it just means that you have to have a Google account and you have to sign into it on the tablet before you can go into that section. So if you have a Gmail and you remember your password, you would type it in on that screen and then it would take you to the store after. If you say, I don't have a Gmail, I have AOL, I have Yahoo. At the bottom of your screen, you should see a button that says create account and you can click on that and then that will give you the opportunity to create a Gmail account to have on the tablet. Unfortunately, you have to have that to download anything on the tablet. So just click disclaimer right there. The last thing, how do I check my email? How do I set up my email? How does all that work? Well, you're gonna go to the email app right here and you would select the type of account you have. So maybe you have Yahoo. You would tap on Yahoo and here you would enter your Yahoo email address and then you would enter your password and then um, it would sign you into your account and then whenever you wanted to check your email, you just open your tablet and go to the email section. That's it. And it'll let you look at your emails, read them, delete them, uh, archive them. You let you send your own emails. You can do anything and everything in that app. So that's about it guys. In the first video, I wanted to keep it very basic and brief and just go over how to use everything and where to find everything. Um, I will do a part two and we'll go over more how to change your wallpaper, how to delete apps, how to put apps in folders, just a lot of other cool things to help you really learn your tablet. So do me a favor, uh, like the video, find it helpful, leave a comment down below of, of one thing you learned from the video. And do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. This is a new channel and we're really trying to build it up, so we need your help. So if the video was helpful, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Very last thing in our uh, description section below,
We have some really cool tech products that we recommend. They're products that we use. We wanted to share them with you guys. So take a look at our description section. You might find some cool new accessories to try out as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.